Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for April 1st through April 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to the, those of you who are new. Um, we are definitely in interesting times right now, so I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying positive, trying to see the bigger picture, and you know, using this as a time for you know, more self-reflection and turning in and getting back to what's truly important. So um, thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. I really do love reading your comments below the reading, so thank you for that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I literally have clients all around the globe at this point, which I'm super grateful for. Um, all the information is on my website below about the energy healing and the distance energy therapy. Okay, so you can definitely check that out. Read the testimonials, uh, read the different benefits. It's a great time right now if you're having trouble with fear or with just feeling good or clearing and healing. And there's a lot of energies shifting and moving in and around us right now with what's happening. So uh, the energy therapy, I've just been super busy lately with clients for that reason. So so you will see I have a really awesome 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And again, all the info is below. So that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings now. Hello, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Well, any placement, really, that you want. Um, this is for April 1st through the 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled. So let's get into it. Wow. Okay. Starting off beautifully, Aries. We've got Wheel of Fortune here. So this is Fate, Divine Timing. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know to me this card is the clock of the universe. So things are happening as they should. Um, this also can be, you know, a chapter closing or things coming to completion, but it's bringing movement forward in a really positive, beautiful way for you. And I love that the next two cards, we've got Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. So there is a beautiful, really solid love, partnership, marriage, relationship, either coming in for you or that you are growing into. So if you are dating somebody, you may be really thinking about taking, taking things to the next level. And I think with this nine of pentacles in the middle here, it's like you are feeling solid and stable and self-sufficient. And I think your partner also is feeling this same way, which, you know, those two put together really can bring a beautiful, harmonious, relationship. I mean, the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. So with the Wheel of Fortune, Aries, I just feel things are really moving in a positive direction for you. Let me see what else we've got here, though. There you are, the Emperor card. Yep, you are on top of your game right now, Aries. Wow, the World card. So I'm trying to remember, I think your last um, your last reading was a little bit challenging, like maybe a decision or something. Actually, let me check here. Yeah, there was a, a tough decision in the last reading that you had to go through. And I feel if that resonated with you, you really have come onto the other side of that. Because we've got three more major arcanas out here. We've got you as the emperor, the world card, and the hanged man. So like I was saying, you're feeling in your power, you're feeling solid, you're feeling stable, you're really looking at the long-term vision, okay? I mean, the emperor does not like to invest into anything that's going to be a waste of time. So it's a more serious energy, you know, serious inquiry into things, um, which if marriage or a committed partnership is really there for you, I mean, that would be the energy of the emperor because the emperor wants stability, and with the world card, I mean, this is so awesome because the Wheel of Fortune and the world both signify cycles coming to an end or things coming into wholeness and completeness. The world card also can really represent similar to the Nine of Pentacles energy, which is that really independent, self-reliant, self-sufficient energy. Like you don't need anything from anybody else to have a happy, beautiful life. 
which when you're in that place and you can add somebody into your life, that is where the happily ever after is because you're just contributing to one another. You don't need anything from a partner. You are just adding to the happy, full life that you've already created for yourself. And with the hanged man, I think this is just telling me you're quite comfortable with where you're at and what you're doing. You may not need to make any more major decisions like that for a while, Aries. I think you're just going to let it flow. But let me see. We've still got three more cards to come out here. Anything else, Aries? You know, and we are in Aries season as well. So this is your time. You know, you've got the sun all to you, helping, you know, shine a light on any parts of you that needed healing. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so next up we've got King of Swords. Actually, that came out with the Four of Wands here. So you are absolutely moving towards stability. Um, four of Wands. Sorry, I don't know if I said Four of Swords. King of Swords, Four of Wands. Um, Four of Wands is a really, again, it's another committed partnership, but it's very stable. And the King of Swords, in regards to love, the King of Swords is very clear who their soulmate is, who they want to be with, who their partner is. And then the last two cards that popped out for you, my goodness. I don't know if this could even get any better for you, Aries. The Magician and the Sun, are you kidding me? As I was talking about the Sun, the Sun card came out. You know, the Sun being an Aries for you. So happiness, joy, love, abundance. I mean, the Sun also brings like a honeymoon phase. So that really loving, giddy energy. And the Magician is... The manifestation card, wishes fulfilled, you know, being able to create anything that you want. So I just love seeing such a positive reading for you guys after kind of a more challenging reading. It shows me that you've done the work, you've been through the trenches, and now you're on the other side. I mean, you literally, Aries, have the Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Sun card, along with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So this is really beautiful for you. I see stability, harmony, happiness all coming in. And one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards. That's growth. That's transformation. That is moving to the next level of your life. Wowzers. I don't even feel like I need to clarify anything because it's just very clear. But I do want to mention that world card is in the center of the reading. So... You know, normally I would say that could represent travel, but since we're all on lockdown right now, I don't really see that happening. Um, if things lift, then yeah, I could see you maybe traveling. But you could also be just having a, a different view of the world with everything that's going on, right? Maybe this has helped you to really get clear on what's truly important to you which is not just business, right? It's love, it's commitment, it's, it's who you share your time with and you're ready to commit. You're ready to like go to the next level, definitely here. Beautiful, oh, I love it. Last message out is similar to the very first message, which is divine timing. You have that here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So... Things are finally going to start moving in your favor, Aries. Not that there won't be bumps on the road. I mean, we always have bumps and you can't have the good without having the challenges. So just roll with it. And the more you can stay in your flow right now and really in tuned with that heart energy and what's important to you at, at a deeper level, that's going to help kind of move you forward here with all this really... I just feel really energized right now, <laughs> to, you know, being in your guys' energy. So beautiful reading. I hope that resonates with you. Um, if not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. And thank you for the comments below the video. I really do love reading all the comments. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all over the world at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the past over two years now. So, um, you know, thank you for keeping me so busy week after week after week. 
The link below to my website has all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials. Also check out my journey into this and you'll see a really awesome 15% discount for first time energy clients. So you can definitely take advantage of that. I hope that's helpful for you in some way, um, but you can have 15% off your very first session with me. So it's a good time for energy clearing and balancing, especially with what is, you know, is going on at a bigger scale. So I hope this has been helpful for you, Aries. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to April, and I will see you back here for the second half of the month readings. Take care.